各位同学，大家好。今天我来跟大家谈一下学测英文作文的时候，我们写的时候常会用到的一些句型。这个是第一部分。我为什么要制作这个单元呢？有几个主要的原因。因为我们有在写作的时候呢，会常用到某一些句型，就是在表达意思上也非常清楚。但是呢，我们发现学生呢，常常会在这些句型上面呢。不去套这个这个句型来用，就是自己去想，自己去把它的意思，中文意思翻译成英文来写，所以就发生了很多的这种错误。其实很可惜，如果你会这个句型的话，你只要把自己的意思套进去，就可以写出很正确的句子来了。为了帮助同学免于犯这样错误，所以我从我的范文里面找出来这些句子，频率很高。越是出现的频率越高的话，越需要注意。而且，如果同学能够把这个句型背下来，就是你自己随时可以做变换的话，相信对你在学测写作上会有帮助，而且可以写的比较快速一点。我们先来看一下这个 “there is, there are” 这个句型，就是客观的有。可是很多同学呢，用我们中文里面的这个 “have, has” 那个根深蒂固的观念，所以一想到有。就马上就用 have 或 has 或者是其他的句型。如果你知道这个在英文里面是这么常用的话，我相信你会考虑更多一点。我一共找了十三个像这样子的句子给大家参考。There are several reasons why people worldwide like to use emojis. There are many things we can do to stop polluting our oceans. There are several reasons why I choose not to pay with cash. There are also some disadvantages to using emojis that can lead to misunderstandings. There were store-wide discounts, ranging from 30 to 70 percent off. This way, we can ensure there will be no confusion caused by an emoji's ambiguity. My experiences have shown that there are many differences between in-person and online classes. There are cases that some grandparents cannot see their grandkids for long periods of time. However, there has been widespread concern that students will use it to answer homework questions. In addition, there are practical difficulties in enforcing a ban in the classroom. There have been cases where students have used smartphones for some beneficial purposes. There are strong arguments both for and against the use of mobile phones in schools. There is an urgent need to develop plagiarism detection tools. 尤其在我们写主题句的时候呢，经常会。用到像这样的句型，所以同学要特别特别注意。接下来我们来看一下，就是因果跟影响，像这样子的句子。As a result of the reasons above, I prefer to use digital payment methods rather than cash. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, governments around the world have implemented measures to slow the virus's spread. The high housing prices in urban areas have had a serious influence/slash impact on the society. Although this bullying happens early in life, it has a huge impact throughout their lives. 像这里，如果说是 influence， 后面再加一条斜线叫 slash 啊，加一个 slash。我们现场讲这个斜杠人生的这个 slash， 就是用这个字。As a result of social media's rapid growth ever since, sending emojis has become a global trend. These issues can all result in communication problems and may damage relationships. History has proven time and again that wars would cause slash lead to slash result in extremely terrible disasters. I am proud of Taiwan for two reasons: the friendliness of the people and the country's healthcare system. 接下来我们再来看谈到经验，我们在写看图说故事的时候呢，通常都会写一个故事呢，通常把它当做自己的经验或者是别人的经验。用的机会也很多，或者是在写主题写作的时候呢，我们也可以拿这个经验来当做一个例证。所以呢，用到这样句型也非常多。It was the most unforgettable shopping experience Lisa had ever had. This experience is particularly memorable because I learned something important from it. I learned a valuable lessons on social responsibility when my parents and I went to the tulip show at the Sheilan official residence last year. I'll never forget the painstaking experience of trying out the famous Portuguese egg tart several years ago. When I was five years old, I experienced something that has affected me in profound ways. From this experience, I learned that those who follow the crowd will get lost in it. 
。接下来呢，我们再来看一下近几年发生了什么事情。我们用到这个时间副词“近几年”，通常会跟完成式来连用。很多同学呢，在写作文的时候呢，因为我们经常要写到最近的发展，也会用错。我们请大家来再来听一下这个部分。In recent years, however. Schools have faced challenges ranging from deadly pandemics to campus violence. In recent years, it has become more common for university professors in Taiwan to use English as the medium of instruction. In the last hundred years, urban parks have emerged in Taiwan to provide residents with a place where they can relax and exercise. In recent years, in the past few years, there have been more and more super typhoons, which often cause slash bring about slash give rise to serious slash severe damage. AI or artificial intelligence has advanced rapidly since 1950. For many primary and secondary school students, smartphones have become an important piece of technology in their lives. 好，我们这个单元到这里结束。接下来还会在未来的几个单元里面继续介绍像这样子经常用的句型，但是学生常常会犯错，希望大家注意收看。我的介绍就到这里结束。